What up, people? This is Bonjo. I have a little saying. I hate feeling like when I sleep at a hotel, I'm wasting money. So we decided to stay at the worst rated, the worst reviewed, but it's the absolute cheapest hotel here in Bratislava, and it looks super unique. Mickey, are you? Some of the some of the reviews were bad, right? None of the hotels around here or Austria have. Okay, I don't know how to say this guy's name, but he gave it a one rating. He's from Poland. His name's like Szczepanak or something like that. The good part about it, the smiley face, nothing. Absolutely nothing, he said. The bad part, the place is more than bad. It is almost like a scam. The place in general is a mess. Everything looks unserviced for a long time. There is dirt everywhere. Besides the mess, it is simply ugly and in bad taste. Everything is painted in shouting colors and don't come together. <laughs> there are wannabe ugly paintings on the wall. The bed was hard and uncomfortable. The room was simply dirty, m moisty. I don't know what moisty means, but that sounds sexual and stinking. Don't stay at this place. I can't believe it. It's two stars. He can't even believe it's two stars. On Google, it's not even a hostel. Yeah. It, I would say this, they, they, hmm, they say it's a hotel, but it feels more like a creepy hostel. You ever watch that one sh movie? It's uh, where they go to Bratislava. It's either Euro trip or something like that. And the Bratislava and it's like weird characters all around and creepy and dirty and dangerous looking. Yeah, that's exactly what, when you think of Bratislava from America and you watch only Euro trip, that's exactly what this place was. It was a Euro trip vibes. I swear to God, or hostel. I, I don't know if it was hostel or Euro trip, but either way, it's like where the kids stone the people to death. Yeah, wild, wild place. I don't recommend it, but these are the comments. So we're gonna get into it and show you guys around the hotel. Let's go. Some of the some of the reviews are bad, right? None of the hotels around here or Austria have good reviews unless that they are very expensive. So this one, it's not the best reader, how you say it, like good Re reader, review. but the reviews, but it looks crazy and we can... It should be unique, it should be something cool. And it's kind of in this neighborhood, beside the blue church, this cool gymnasium. And here's little Enzo and we're ready. We're waiting for the Volt. From here to our hotel, it's only five euros. So Uber is super, super affordable here. Super affordable. It's not like Vienna where everything's metro, trams, buses. It's actually, we, we're taking an Uber, right? Oh, yes. I don't think they have metro here. Uh, metro? No. No, I don't Wait, think so. How you call Underground. Metro? Subway? No, yeah. I don't think so. So, but we're going to go. I don't know what the name of our hotel is called. It's, it's crazy. It's unique. Once you see it in our video, you'll be able to spot it out. It's a unique hotel here in Bratislava. And lots of Croatians have stayed there too. So let's go. Little Lubo, she's coming pick us up, but look at this. The price, it doesn't show us the price. No, but it's five euros. But Lubo, she looks wild. <laughs> but we're ready. Let's go, Lubo. Come pick us up at the Blue Church. So, this is our hotel here. It's called the Hotel Galleria Doplinki Vizviki. It looks wild, huh? I don't know which one is the entrance. It's this think one. here. It says entrance. Oh, okay. Look at every shape. It's just weird. And it's quite a distance away from town. So if you guys are coming here, it's a distance. Watch out, honey. Get Enzo. And yeah, it's quite a distance away from town. But like we said, this Uber was only four euros. And it was like a 10, 15 minute drive. So we'll, we'll just take Ubers. Hey, look at this place. It's in a quaint, quiet little neighborhood. And this looks wild, wild. So this is our room. I don't know how they came up with this architecture because it's just like every shape you think of. It smells like cigarettes in here. Some cigarettes, yeah. That's a cigarette smell. But I think this is the washroom. Look at this. What are we doing here? Let's try to put the lights on. This is the washroom here. We got a, a bath. We got a toilet. We got a shower. 
What more could you ask for? This is good. I think that one is a closet. Yeah, how do you even open this? It opens the other way. No, it doesn't open. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a door. Look at this cable. Look at this. That's nice. There's a telephone cable, I imagine. Who knows, but look at this window. Look at this. Look how it's shaped. And this is the view from our room. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Crazy little, cra crazy little room. But this was what? 43 euros? 43. Yeah, so 43 euros, but we have to pay 6 euros in taxes, tourist taxes. So 6 euros in tourist taxes? Jeez. Was it worth it? This is actually not that bad though. I would, so far, okay. Let's give this a review here. Let's give this a proper. Every, every comment said that. It was disgusting, like, disgustingly dirty. I get it, because aesthetically, you got things falling apart and stuff, but is it disgust? okay, the floor, yeah. The floor is obviously disgusting. <laughs> yeah, the floor, yep. Okay, check one. But the beds, the beds, the beds are nice and clean. Yes. Clean, nicely folded. I don't know. I think a lot of people, when they review things, they got to remember. They're not God, you know, but when they put a bad review, it kind of harms the business. It's hilarious. The people that always review and say something are the ones that are mostly negative. Eh? The negative people always love to say something, especially being in the business now. You kind of realize that the one dayers like us, we're going to leave a bad review. No, this is good. I think for 43 euros, I think it's beautiful. It's worth it, no? Yes, it is. Perfect. I think it's a little bit too far away. Yeah, a little too far away. That's the only... Oh. But cheap cabs, cheap Ubers make up for it. Yes, we will see. Yeah, and uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Lubos, Ludos. Ludos was actually a good speaker. He wasn't crazy. He was actually very nice, right? At the beginning, he looked like... Broken. Yeah, very mad. And, then, and when you broke the beard, I say, oh my God, this yeah. guy's going to... Yeah, because my beer, I had three beers. You stopped at Lido, grabbed three beers, and the beers, one of the beers, I guess, when we were folding up the buggy, we took the bags out. The beer hit the ground too hard. Thin can, maybe. It wasn't even that hard. But it broke and splattered everywhere, all over his car. And then uh, he's like, yeah, just leave it on the road. Just leave the whole bag and all the garbage on the road. I'm like, no, no, no I'll put it in the garbage can. He's like, just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's Lud Ludos, you know? Ludos from Slovakia. The guy's a G. Give that guy. Look at this door, though. Everything just... And you can see the guy that owns it was on the computer. I imagine that was him. He looked like... Um, what's that blonde dude, that artist? That Campbell's Soup guy? Andy Warhol? Andy Warhol, yeah. He looked, looked like him, but wilder. <laughs> Imagine being wilder than Andy Warhol. But this hotel review, out of 10, I, for the money you paid, okay, you gotta realize when we give the rating, this is 10 for the money you paid. You can't find a cheaper place than this. And it's, the only bad thing is, like you said, far away. And that's it. Far away, but it's pretty good, I say. Pretty dang good. You have any thoughts of it? Um, from outside, it looks super weird. It looks like a motel. A motel in Argentina is, is the one that you pay for sex only. And I was thinking like, oh my God, in which, in which room we're going to sleep tonight? And I don't know, the, the reception is, is very like direct, like straight. No jokes, nothing. No, uh, but that's okay. You, you don't need no. to have sympathy. And she's like, no, we don't have any with three people. And they're like, no, because I didn't put in. <laughs> well, let's just say this. This one has a TV. This one has a TV. The other one didn't. No. So, but we're going to take it. I think you can go on the rooftop here, I imagine. We're going to check it out. So this is the balcony here. Look at this place. Look at this place. So this is the terrace. Let's go here. Come here. Grab my hand. Come on. <laughs> Look at this craziness. This is crazy. Yeah, this is the smoking area, they say. But here's a little view from this side. This is what our hotel looks like. It's pretty, pretty crazy. I don't know. Come on, don't lean on the 
This guy, hey, you always gotta watch the kid. Watch the kid, watch the kid. That's all the life is about. Watching the kid, watch the kid. So he doesn't fall off a cliff, eat soap, you know? Watch the kid, watch the kid. Tickies! How fun is this place, Enzo? No, no, it says don't go. It's cool though. It's definitely unique. I don't know if we've ever been somewhere like this, but let's go. <laughs> Come on, Enzo. There's just a couch here. Come on. Come on, Papito. Manito. Manito de Papa. Come on. Let's go. Let's go up this stairwell. Look at this. Not much here. This is it. We came to the last stop. Let's go down. And that's it, my friend. That's the hotel tour. One more thing. We forgot to show you what's in here. Look at this. A plane with a knife. A piece of bread. A random tag. A left shoe. And a right shoe. We don't know if this is somebody's living quarters. Or this is the kind of cleaning that people are talking about. But this is, <laughs> this might need to be cleaned up. The first comment, the first review here is from Julie. She's from Australia. So the good part she said was the size of the room. Now the size of the room was pretty good size. And the bad part is get ready for this guys. Bed bugs ate me alive. I'm suffering with itchiness and now I have to take antihistamines. I've had to wash all my belongings as to not spread all the bed bugs. The corridor stink. <laughs> the communal fridge has something in it that died a long time ago. One smell of it made me want to vomit. The decor is like something that had a party but never cleaned up. <laughs> Strongly urge others not to stay here until they fumigate and clean no exaggeration this is a serious alert i contacted property via message and email but after almost two days i have not heard a response from them so they rated that a one out of ten that's the lowest possible so i seen that the hotel replied we immediately removed the bed and other furniture when we received the message on booking. We are sorry for your unpleasant experience, but unfortunately, since we received the message only on Friday, our employees cannot answer you immediately. We would appreciate if the information was provided immediately on each sighting. We are professionally trained in the area and can immediately intervene and prevent any guests from bringing insects into the hotel. We thoroughly disinfect regularly. I'll tell you this. They thoroughly don't disinfect regularly. We stayed there, and I know in the video I might say, oh, it's not so bad, but after staying there, there is food left in there, dirty plates left in the cupboards, dirt all over the floor, corrosion on the wall. So I, I feel like it was like almost too dirty to take a shower. We didn't even take a shower there because we felt like it was going to make us dirtier. So yes, I agree with this girl, Julie, from Australia. Now we got Christina from the Netherlands. I called this hotel 20 times. This is the good part, by the way. I think she left the good and the bad is the same comment though. So we'll get in there. I called this hotel 20 times and left several messages that I will arrive in 20 minutes after midnight if there will be someone at the reception and no one responded. Their phone was few times busy when I called so they present at the phone. They just didn't pick up. I had to book another hotel because didn't want to risk staying outside in the cold. I waited till morning. Very, very bad stuff. Arrogant and irresponsible. I'm professional. Do not, re do not recommend. Okay. I understand, but usually you can't show up 20 minutes after midnight, especially if you didn't give them a heads up before. So if you booked it and then told them when you got there, I'll be arriving 20 minutes after midnight. Maybe you should check when check-in is and when it's open and when it's closed because 20 minutes after midnight, I wouldn't answer my phone either. But that's just me. I do it all the time. 
So now we got Mitar. He also rated this a one. These are all one ratings, the worst ratings. He's from Macedonia. The good part, the idea behind it is great. The execution is very bad. Nothing really like it except for a price and the cheapest one and free parking. Yeah, that's what we booked it off basically because it looked unique. And then when we booked it, we looked at the ratings and we just seen it was filled with bad ratings. But I I do the Airbnb thing too. And some people, they're just never happy. And they, they want to pay the cheapest for the worst. So I thought it was kind of one of these deals. But I was wrong. Um, sad part. The owner did not speak English. Okay. You're in Slovakia. He was rude and un and unwelcoming. The reception is in the painting studio. Yes, it is in the painting studio. And it was a mess. And the owner was there. He looked like Andy Warhol. The stairs to the room were narrow. And we barely managed to go with the luggage. The room was total chaos. Unclean sheets. Bad smell. Very dirty. Very dirty. And old everywhere. You can see the pictures. That is not the way to welcome anybody. Uncomfortable in any way. <laughs> The path to the center is going under a bridge, and at night there were drunks and narcs there. We had to call a taxi to go through the final 50 meters because it was really unsafe. Two guys were harassing us and went back to the train station. Could get to the hotel. Avoid at all costs. It is not worth it. Save, it is not worth it to save your money. Okay. The safety part, we went to a food festival, which will be the next video after this, in Bratislava. And we did go under that same bridge at nighttime. It did look a bit seedy. If you're a woman, I don't recommend it. But we went as a family. And probably could have been dangerous. But when we went, we seen a couple shady characters. But, I mean, it's nighttime. Anybody looks shady at night, right? So, yeah, we didn't feel totally unsafe. We walked and it was pretty, I don't know, pretty safe. Pretty safe at night. I don't know. But I guess it could get dangerous. It looked like it could get dangerous. Any place by the train tracks could get dangerous. So I understand where this meat tar is coming from, but I think that's a man, so I don't think he should have ran away. But our next one is Adrian. One rating from Switzerland. So Switzerland, Swiss, we're Swiss, we're gonna be fancy. Nothing. We immediately left. That is a positive. We arrived, this is a bad part. We arrived at the hotel and first of all, the man at the reception didn't speak English. We're in Slovakia. He also wasn't able to hold a conversation because he was high or something. <laughs> and he just tried to sell us some spiritual cleansing of the soul, even though we clearly said that we didn't want it. Then he showed us our room, which was dirty and full of mold. See photos. Yes, the photos do have mold. And like I said, we found our room full of corrosion mold as well. See photos. The bed sheets weren't clean. They were also... There was also food in the corner with only expired food and dirty dishes. There were also rats at the hotel. Altogether, it was very creepy and we didn't feel safe. So we immediately left the hotel and decided to book another room in another hotel. At the top, there is a booking number of the second hotel. So go to that, I guess he's saying. Um, yeah, we felt the same way, but we stuck it out. And it is what it is. And I mean, the sheets... In our video, you can see they look clean. They nicely folded. They smelled good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if you're if you have high expectations or maybe high standards, don't go for the cheapest place because sometimes this is what you get. This is the absolute cheapest place. Remember that. So, and these people want five star luxury stuff. But I'll say this. I get where these guys have come from. It was awful. But we're, we're not going to leave a bad review. Instead, we're going to make a YouTube video about it. <laughs>